Welcome to another Safish OS app podcast, or should I say better Safish OS podcast or Selfish X podcast? Because in this video I want to show you how to install Safish X on your Sony Xperia X device. There are several different ways to do this. No, actually there's only one official way to do this by using a Windows tool. But as you might guess from my desktop, I'm not using Windows, I'm using Linux. And there are of course ways on Linux and of course also on macOS to just download legally, download totally legally download a Windows 10 copy from Microsoft's website, which is a trial copy basically and you also can find virtual disk images if you like to and you can use then the official way on how to flash Selfish X on your Selfish S mobile device but this just needs then a virtual machine just like virtual box to be set up and of course there are some other things that you need to do first of all on your device make sure you have the latest Android version installed with the build number as you can see here everything above 228 at the end so 34 at the beginning and then uh, 228 at the end is the thing that you need because this then allows you to more easily flash selfish uh, on your Xperia X device and of course removing the Android system or unlocking the Android system that you have running on your Xperia X device will of course also remove the DRM keys that are necessary for some algorithms just like the photo or camera application so if you plan to sell your device anytime soon or at all later on you might need to back up the uh, DRM keys and this requires you to have Android 6.0 and not Android 7.0 so if you upgraded already to the latest version you need to have uh, to make a downgrade but this is not part of this video because I only want to focus on how to flash uh, the Selfish X image or Selfish S image on your Xperia X device so this is the first thing that you need to do upgrade until you have reached a similar number just like I have here in build number or uh, something above uh, 228 which is uh, necessary for the Linux and Mac OS way and also I think the Windows way we'll see in a few seconds another thing that you might want to do in your virtual box of course you can just just like I have here Windows 7 in this case but if you have Windows 10 and downloaded it you have to go into your settings and I think it's system settings no it is USB settings and here you can or you have to activate USB controller and also USB 2.0 support and if you have your device connected already under Linux or Mac OS doesn't matter you can just click on uh, this plus icon and add your device in this case my Sony uh, Xperia device as you can see here I just add it to the list and this makes sure that every time I plug my Sony device in the virtual machine in this case the virtual Windows 7 machine will recognize the Sony device the interesting thing is if you follow the official instructions on the Yola homepage on how to install your Sony um, your Savage S image on your Sony device you will might get into a point where it asks you to go into a fast boot mode and if you go into the fast boot mode you might need to go into your USB thingy again and it might show up another Sony device in here so just make sure that this is also checked here so the flashing will successfully work but as I'm not very familiar with Windows and I don't like using proprietary operating systems that much also I think I know the irony behind it because Selfish OS itself is a little bit proprietary 
in this uh, case, in this regard, but I don't want to use Windows, basically. I want to use Linux, so I will show you the Linux way because it's also faster, I think. But of course, the SafeJS guide, as you can see here, let's go step by step. So step one, option one, if your device has its bootloader locked, this is my case in this case, update to the latest version of Android using the phone's OTA feature, just like I said, you have to update to the latest version, as you can see here. Double check that you have at least this version uh, with the 34 at the beginning and the 228 at the end. Or just like me, the 238, I think, that I have. Then the op option two is if your device has its bootloader unlocked, then you go to the Sony website, download the Emma tool and uh, do some stuff in here uh, so the next thing is install the fast boot driver this is only necessary for the windows step and as you can see here it usually auto detects the so the the, the uh, device and then will install the driver for your sony xperia on windows so this also works on the virtual machine thingy but as you can see here this step 2.0 while your devices are, fold down the volume up button uh, on the device and connect your device to your computer via USB. The LED next to the speaker on the device should light up blue. If you do this, you will go basically into the fast boot mode of your device. And if you do this, your device might show up as a different device. So let me try to demonstrate this to you by first turning off my device. I have it already connected, but it doesn't matter. I will turn it off and this will take a few seconds. And in this few seconds, I can guide you to, or I can mention that there's an unofficial guide for SafeJX flashing on uh, Linux and Mac OS. And I will follow these instructions here later on. So basically what you have to do on Linux to get fastboot into working is install Ling, at least under Debian or Ubuntu systems, uh, the Android tools fastboot. Otherwise, if you are on other Linux systems, OpenSUSE or something like this, they should have the fastboot um, package somewhere, the Android tools fastboot package somewhere. Or you, sh you can, of course, install, download the whole Android SDK and uh, use the fastboot um, executable from there if you'd like to. So my device is now turned off. Let's go back to the instructions. Uh, what does it say? Hold the volume up button on the device and yeah, hold the volume up button, volume up, and then press the power button to boot into fastboot. until the LED is blue. This is now the case. So my LED is now blue and I guess I'm now in the fast boot option. I don't see anything on the screen on the device. Uh, let's go back into the virtual machine just for your virtual machine lovers here. Let's go back to USB. And as you can see here, my device is not turning off because it uses a different ID. As you can see here, it's the Sony S1 fast boot option. So this is one interesting thing that you need to check as well. So it get r gets recognized by the virtual machine if you'd like to use the Emma tool, the Windows flashing uh, method that uh, Yola officially supports. So now I'm in the uh, fast booting mode. What should I do next? Um, okay, download fast boot. We have those installed, blah, blah, blah. These are the instructions to install it under Windows. You can read this, of course. Uh, you get the link to the instructions when downloading the uh, Safish uh, S image for the Xperia X. And uh, okay, this is only the instructions to install the fast boot driver. Then we have to extract the Safish uh, zip file. So if you paid for the SafeJS uh, download, you will get this zip file that I also have in here. And what you basically need to do is extract this uh, zip file, just like I did here uh, very quickly. And in, uh, yeah, uh, now I have this folder here. Let's go back to the instructions. 
Uh, now we have to unlock the bootloader. Uh, instructions to unlock the bootloader can be found on Sony Open Device website. So let's go in here. How do we unlock the bootloader? Okay, we search for our device. Xperia X. Oops. Sony should fix this because I don't know where the TM sign the TM character is on my keyboard. <laughs> I don't have this one. So Xperia X and now I have instructions what to do but these instructions tell me to have the system running. So as I'm now in fast boot and I have already installed the Android tools fast boot what I can do is just simply do a sudo fast boot devices to see if my device is found. And I have to enter my password. And as you can see here, my device is found. If your device is not found, this means either your cable is broken, your USB cable is broken, or there is some other maybe restrictions with uh, accessing certain device, or you forgot to insert the sudo at front because you need um, root rights to see or write to the device. So let's power up the device again. Uh, turning it off again. Of course I could also just use here the command. Might be easier. Fast boot reboot. And as you can see here, it finished the command. And this is now rebooting into the normal system as we need for unlocking we need to first uh, have the system running so my apologies i'm doing this the first time so it might take a little bit and i only can do it once of course to show you this so this video might become a little bit long but as you can see here you have to go into settings uh, then about phone and then tap seven times on the build number to enable the developer options so let me do this as it's booted up i have to enter my pin code let's go to settings about the phone you cannot see this right now but i'm doing exactly now what's written there where's the build number seven times one two three four six seven and now I'm developer. Then from settings go into developer mode. There is developer mode showing up right now. And from settings go to developer mode and enable OEM unlock. OEM unlock enabled. And I have to enter pin. In your device, open the dialer to access the service menu. Uh, I have to enter my PIN. Ah, okay. I have to enter my PIN number, activate it, and then. Uh, okay, warning, blah, device protection features. Okay, in your device, open the dialer and enter this cryptic number, as you can see here. So I will do this right now. Maybe I will make a screenshot so you can see this as well if I find my phone to make a screenshot of so the dialer then I type in star hash star hash seven three seven eight four two three hash star hash star and I'm into a strange looking black menu which is called I guess service menu uh, don't think this is very useful with a flash let me do this screenshot or this shot I could do a screenshot as well instead of using my phone to ah, I'm doing I'm wiping Android anyway so Let's do these shots. 
so now I have to go into service menu configuration service info configuration and then I have to take a look if the bootloader, bootloader unlock allowed is set to yes and this is the case so I think I'm finished right now so what's the next step unlock the bootloader blah, blah, blah. continue chapter B connect to fast boot uh, okay now we have to get to the chapter 5 download the software binaries for the Xperia A A U AOSB M RAR zip file if you click on this you get to this page you click on his and you click on accept and then it will start downloading and you have another zip file here what you need to do now is just simply extract this image file in the zip into this folder here it will take some time huh? oh, it's ready so finish fast and the next thing that you need to do as fast as, uh, as far as I'm aware is flashing the Safish X image to your Xperia device connect your device to your PC in fast boot mode as follows disconnect your Xperia device from the PC turn off the device leave it off for 15 seconds okay I'm doing this as instructed turning it off this will take some time uh, by the way we can look at the unofficial guide so I've installed this and what I can do get the device into fast boot mode by fully turning it off and plugging in the power cable while holding volume up and then I could also run fast boot OEM unlock which is basically the same step that I did with this here uh, this uh, more cryptic way on doing this by booting up Android again so I could have avoided this by using the unofficial guide but I'm just simply switching between the official guide and will use the official guide mostly because most of the people maybe want to stick to this one because it's the more yeah, guaranteed way to work and you might get support also from Yola when something goes wrong uh, so I've talked a little bit long but I think my device is now 15 seconds uh, turned off so the next thing that I need to do is connect uh, one end of the USB cable to your PC okay I have it uh, while holding the volume up button connect the other end of the cable to your Xperia device the LED next to the speaker of the device should uh, light up blue and it is doing this so uh, on Windows Passport drivers needs probably a technical device, blah blah blah. We don't have Windows on Windows, double click on Flash on Windows, but a patch file and then click on run away. Follow the instruction of the console window while flashing has finished. Reboot your device into Safish X. So this is the Windows way to do it. The Linux way to do it is uh, written down here. So first of all, we have to make sure that the Flash SH file which is in your uh, Safish OS zip file that you download is marked as executable as you can see here it is marked as executable you can of course also make sure that it is really executable uh, by run uh, this running this command here and the next thing that we need to do is uh, then just simply run sudo flash but before we do this, I will once again check if my Zudo Fastboot devices lists my device. It lists my device and now the moment of truth begins. I will just simply, oh, I don't copy this because this is bad behavior. Just type in what's written in there. And then uh, maybe I pop up the um, window. So we have a full screen window. So Zulu flash the moment of truth and hopefully this video is uh, gonna be out 
and it's not a totally failed video. So, detected Linux, searching for devices to flash, found device, blah blah. This device had not been unlocked, but you need to do that for flashing. So, the instructions went wrong somewhere. So, the device is not unlocked. So, what I will do now is simply use the unofficial guide and um, your key. Not sure what's meant by your key here in the unofficial guide. Let me go back to the official guide and let's see where we got something wrong. Instructions for unlocking process can be found here. So, uh, yes. Then you can continue with the next step. Ah, of course, you have to click continue here. Mm, I'm an idiot. So, uh, of course, we have to click on continue here. I have to enter my email address that I will do right now by simply swiping this down here. So everyone knows my email address now, doesn't matter. You can send me funny email uh, cat picti pictures only, please, on this email address. So email verification. So now I have to check my inbox for a verification code and I will do this not on screen, but I will use my smartphone for this. And now I'm getting an unlock code, hopefully. Let's see. You have requested to unlock the bootloader of your Xperia device. To verify this, click the proceed link. So I'm clicking the proceed link now on my phone. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get an unlock code, which I can use to unlock my device. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated as I thought. So what I need to do to be able to show you this is quickly fire up KD connect don't have it not installed don't have it installed here so another way to show you this it's it's a lengthy video but I can only do one take for this video so that's the cause of this. Uh, you can, of course, skip forward <laughs> the video if you, if you find it too boring. So I will use this. And do I have, I have this activated? Here yeah, I have the procedure too. I don't want to have this. I want to have this address here. And I hopefully, hopefully, this only works once. I mean, this address, if I copy it here. And, well, uh, unlock, yeah, and push it to all my devices. And there it is. Click on link open. And now we have the link that I was. Uh, worrying about wh what uh, what I saw basically on the phone itself. So in order to generate an unlock code for your device, we need the unique EMI or IDD or meet number associated with your device you're about to unlock. For most devices, you can view the EMI number by entering uh, this scripted thingy here in your keypad. Of course, I will do this. So, uh, EMI number, I hopefully, hopefully find it somewhere on the packaging of the Xperia X device. It should be, it should be somewhere, EMI, EMI, EMI. It might be under this sticker here. The sticker on my device. Uh, it's not going to work, so where do I have, where could be the my number? It's not on the packaging, it's a bit strange. Let me take a look at the staff 
inside the box to see if it's written somewhere. Don't think so. So of course what I could do now to make this a little bit shorter. You have to find of course your email number. So there are different ways to find it. Your email number here are some options. And I think this is the easiest option. So what I will do now is just simply turn off my device again. Oh. I can just simply hit fastboot reboot of course which will reboot my device and back into Android where I can see my email number. I was not expecting this to be such a complicated process but of course yeah, if you want to have safe address you have to go through this process and I guess you have to go through this process as well if you have to if you want to have AOSP so yeah if you want to have a little bit more freedom on your device of course you have to jump uh, through some loops to get things done so boot up boot up boot up okay it booted up I have to enter my pin code again go to the dialer and then what was the code star hash oh six hash and it now tells me the email number and I will simply do a little shot of the email number because it's a little bit long. Okay, just to make sure. And now I'm typing in the email number. I have to acknowledge. I acknowledge that Sony does perform any render repairs, blah blah blah. Okay. Yola will take care of this and now I will intelligently try to hide my email number for you uh, from you of course. So I will enter it right now, hopefully hopefully correctly. Hit enter. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Hopefully I've typed in the correct run. Ah, I got an unlock code. So what I can do now is simply use my unlock code. I think it's a unique unlock code. And I will now follow the unofficial guide because I think it's faster and use this here. But to do this, of course, I have to go into fast boot mode again. So turn my device off. Pull out the USB plug if I still have it in there. And then I will wait until it's completely shut down. And I will type in sudo fast boot oem oem unlock 0x and then enter my unlock key. Hold down the up button, insert the micro USB cable, wait until it lights up blue, test again if Fastboot recognizes the device, it does, it should work. Okay, finished. So this worked now. So again, hopefully, hopefully, the moment of truth now, the moment of truth executing the flash again. And it seems to work. First of all, it found my device, and now it's flashing stuff and it's flashing the system. So it looks that it is working. So this is how you basically flash Sailfish OS, Sailfish X on your Xperia X device under Linux basically is what I showed you but it works similarly to what I showed you here on uh, Mac OS and of course on Windows you can use the Yammer tool which is I think uh, next 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 and everything is okay. 
uh, kind of thing but it's a little bit easier I think on Linux because you have fast boot already you don't have to download the whole Android SDK thingy and uh, you don't have to install a fast boot driver thingy or something like this so it might be a little bit easier here and of course it's a Linux based operating system so you want to flash it on Linux and as you can see here, it's working fine it's flashing the user data now and I think any minute it should be ready and then hopefully hopefully after a re reboot it will start up with uh, Selfish OS and it's version uh, 2.1.3.5 so you get even a newer version then on the other YOLA devices that have I think 2.1.2 .2. and yeah writing OEM as well so hopefully these instructions were clear and not so confusing uh, it was my first time doing it my only time doing it so if you do it uh, maybe um, you might have learned something from my mistakes from my thing uh, from my yeah from my doing basically so remove the USB cable and boot up the device by pressing the power key okay this is what I will do the blue light is out press the power key and then I will get a big warning your device has been unlocked you can't it can't be trusted your device will boot up in five seconds uh, then a nice Sony logo I will record this and then ahoy here we are on Savage OS on the Xperia X as you can see here I will select my preferred language in this case German and yeah basically I can then just start by first configuring Safe on my Xperia X device uh, so this is everything for this lengthy video about flashing Safish X or Safish S on the Xperia X and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, video demonstration and yeah thanks for watching how do, how do I turn this off?